Excuse me. I wanted to show you a real quick magic trick while you're waiting online, okay? I'm gonna print a card out of my phone, pull the card off the screen and give it to you. I have nothing in this hand. I have nothing in this hand. But I'm gonna give you this card, okay? You ready? That's for you. Can I show you another trick? You're gonna move up. See those three triangles? Read each triangle out loud. You got the first one correct. There are two does, but you missed the other two does and the two A's. Isn't that crazy? Let's see if your eyes are wrong about something else. Third magic trick, you ready? Do you see yourself as a good person or are you mistaken? Are you a good person? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. What do you call people who tell lies? So what are you? Aha. Uh -huh. Have you ever taken something that does not belong to you, ever? Even candy. Yeah. What do you call people who steal? A, a thief, right? So what are you? Lying thieves. Have your parents ever punished you for anything, ever? That means you haven't always honored your father and your mother. Let me summarize what you just told me about yourself. By your admission, you're a liar, a thief, disobedient, and rebellious. Is that the definition of a good person? And if you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? Should God let guilty people into heaven? Do you know what you just said about yourself? You're in trouble, right? But what did God do so he could forgive people? and they rose on the third day. Does that mean everybody goes to heaven? Who goes to heaven? Let me show you something. The Bible says there is no one righteous, no one good, not even one. So do you know why good people don't go to heaven? They don't exist. There's no one good, not even one. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So let me tell you who goes to heaven. Here's what Jesus said. For God so loved the world. What's your first name? Maribel? Maribel? Yeah. Let me, let me rephrase John 3.16 with your name. For God so loved Maribel that he gave Jesus, that if Maribel believes in Jesus, she will not perish but have everlasting life. That's John 3.16 with your name inserted into it. Tell me how to go to heaven. To be good. To go to heaven? To be good? No, it's not what I said. For God so loved Maribel that he gave Jesus, that if Maribel believes in Jesus, if Maribel believes in Jesus, she will not perish, but of everlasting life. Tell me how to go to heaven, Maribel. That's right. That's right. Yeah. It's faith in Jesus that saves you. The good works don't save you. The good works come after you're saved. One more verse for you, okay? 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. The moment you truly trust in Jesus and what he did on the cross for you, and repent of your sins, you become a new person. God, the Holy Spirit comes inside of your, your body and lives inside of you, and He starts to work in you and make you into a newer and newer person every day. All those good works will flow out of you naturally or supernaturally. Not because you're afraid, okay? But because you love God and you love people. Does that make sense? Yeah. Did you know how to go to heaven before I walked up to you? Do you believe what Jesus did for you now? Do you believe that it is by faith alone that saves you? Yes. Would you like to ask Jesus to be your Lord right here, right now? Yes. What's, Maribel, would you like to ask Jesus to be your Lord right here, right now? Let me pray for you guys, okay? Father, please save these two people and even this amazing woman here. Fill them with the Holy Spirit. By the power of the gospel, please save them. In Jesus' name, amen. Little prayers don't save anybody. But trusting in Jesus and committing to obey Him, if you've truly done that, all your sins, past, present, and future, are forgiven. And the way you know you, you're saved in the future is you continue to grow, become a new person, more like Jesus. Okay? And you continue to believe the gospel that Jesus died for you. Um, do you have information about the church? This is, uh, we're, we're right up the street from here in Westchester. You know where Manchester is over there? Yeah. There's the IHOP there. We're right above it. Oh, okay. You speak Spanish? That's for you. Two, two services on Sunday and one on Thursday night. And you're more than welcome to come. 
we're not any special type of Christian. We just believe in the Word of God. We also That's have a uh, uh, child's book. And for